recording to get started. All right, recording is on. So good morning, everyone. It's the 24th of June, 2024. Uh, we're in week, which week are we in? We are in week, uh, da, 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 da. I believe it's week 10, but I'm going to check. Yeah, so we are in week 10 out of, yeah, thank you, Abdul Rahman and Abu Bakr. In week 10 out of uh, 12 of the intensive uh, intensive training, the technical phase, we're moving into the supported job search phase in three weeks. Um, and happy to, just wanted to hear, as usual, what people are working on, uh, what last week looked like, and uh, plans for today and this week. And if anyone wants to share what they got up to on Sunday, uh, I'd be happy to hear that. Um, before that, in terms of announcements, I see that the schedule, according to Notion, is not filled in. So I'm, I think we'll get taken, get that taken care of just afterwards. Um, any other announcements from the team? Any other announcements? No? All right, so let's try and go around the room and hear again. We want to hear what people got done last week or progress that's been made, plans for today and this week, uh, any blockers. So as usual, just super quick, let's go through that. And then <clears throat> um, anything you got up to on the weekend. So who wants to go first? OK, Abu Bakr, go ahead. OK, good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning. So yeah, uh, so uh, last week was a, was a good one, actually. So we progressed a lot as a team. Uh, we communicated. So it, it was it was a really a good collaboration on my end. So yeah, we, we, we did better. So uh, by better, I mean in terms of uh, integrating better as a team. So one of the things we accomplished so, was why, divided. Why did, why did you do better? When, so better compared to what and why? What changed? Okay. Or what's, yeah. what's different? OK. So better compared to my uh, previous acquaintance with the other team members. So like we had more, uh, more frequent meetings, both on Slack and on Google Meets. So we actually uh, used what we have implemented, what we have been taught on Ten Academy, for example, having more frequent meetings as opposed to the previous ones. So we used to have like meetings on two days. Now we actually did them uh, frequently. So even we had a meeting uh, before we before this standup. So, uh, so I'm curious. In my in my experience, it's usually one person who makes that happen. So is that the case as well? Is it one person who sort of doing that for you guys who's making that happen uh actually uh, it, it it was previously but now it is sort of like a trade off like one time it would be the other, another person or the next it would be me or facilitating the other aspects of uh, like communication and everything would be would have different types of so for example today's meeting was facilitated by michael previous meetings were facilitated by myself so mm -hmm. yeah okay yeah. good and tell me about the plan for the week yeah uh, so one of the plans was actually it's more of a technical but it would be finalizing the thing so uh, getting ready for documentation and having everything in order so finalizing <laughs> Finalizing everything. Please, please, do never go to a stand-up meeting and say, my plan for this week is to finalize the thing. Because that's, um, <laughs> that's I don't know how to just, I can't think of a good analogy. That's like, if you go to a restaurant and say, what do you have on the menu? And somebody's like, you know, we got some food. So okay. please, don't, don't. I'm finalizing. <laughs> some finalizing dudes, some, some dudes, some dudes are going to finalize some work. OK. <laughs> so my. As my as as for my part, since I, I'm here, I was heavily working on the Kafka part, the, the backing part. So I will be uh, giving out documentations, how it works, and everything to to my teammates, so that they 
can better articulate it. So yeah, uh, and we plan to also implement the automation part, the airflow and everything. So I think today would have another stand up with our with other our other teammates. So yeah, for the blockers part, I think uh, yeah, the, the machines having uh, much downtime was a blocker for me. So, so uh, what's, the, what's the cause there? Why are the machines down? So I think uh, there is a there was a constraint implemented on the machines. So when they become an idle, they shut down. So uh, we couldn't spin them up by ourselves. Have you addressed that? Have you asked Rodas? Have you asked Nat Nail? Because yeah, I, I frequently communicate with Nat Nail. Once it is it becomes idle, uh, I will talk to Nat Nail that he will uh, actively take that. That's why. Okay. So is that really a blocker then? If you have a solution, is it? So what's the blocker then? So like having to, for example, coming back and uh, finding it uh, dead also gives a time for another communication with not mail. Every time it's it's going down. So that 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 is somehow a little bit inconvenient. Not a blocker, but inconvenient. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's yeah. I think that's worth. Uh, so I know that from our side, there's a definite cost. Uh, there's a cost reason. I understood that our system allowed people to spin the the instance up by itself. Um, Rodas, are you aware? Do you know if we can spin the instances? If the teams can uh, spin the instances up by themselves. That, that would be helpful. I don't know if she's in. Uh, it's not naive had the answer for that, I don't know. Don't... OK. Uh, yeah, no, I, I thought Rodas was here. But OK, so Abu Bakr and for team, but sorry, Rodas, go ahead. Oh, OK, can you uh, repeat the question? I'm sorry, I missed that. Is it, I understood that the team was able to, any of the trainees could, if the instance goes idle, their AWS instance goes idle, they could spin it back up by themselves. Uh, I'm not really sure about this, but um, Nathaniel will definitely have an, uh, an answer for this. But if you're having any uh, issues, you can write it on the channel and he will make sure to answer it uh, promptly, yeah. Okay, but may, may, let's take this. I mean, we've we've raised it in the stand-up, so let's let's take it on our side. The issue seems to be that uh, the groups, if the instance goes idle, it shuts down, and the current way to solve it seems to be somebody has to ping that mail, who has to manually go and spin it up. So, can we come back and post on uh, in the week nine group? Uh, is that our solution? Because I thought we had a better solution, which was they could spin it up instantly. That they could spin it up themselves. Through the 10x platform. So, could you, can we have a look at that and then report back? Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. And Abu Bakr, your weekend. One thing about your weekend. Uh, like what? What? What I did. <laughs> you you said enough. It's okay. <laughs> I, I assume your weekend was spent uh, working, but based on what you how you reacted. So, uh, yeah, ha, ha, half the time was working. So I also met my uh, my cousins. Yeah, it yeah. was a good time. Okay. Yeah, you know that that reminds me of when I first got into a relationship, and I think my whoever it was at the time was like, you know, what what do you think about flowers? And she wanted me to get her some flowers, and I was like, why? Why would you buy something that's you know predefined to die within like two or three days? It doesn't make any sense. So your reaction is so very much like that. What do you mean the weekend? Um, I just want to make a point there. I think it's especially on a two-week project, it's a little bit different. But when you get into the world of work, uh, taking the time to rest and recharge is really important. Uh, and to a large extent, uh, you will see not in the short term, but in the medium term and in the long term, the two to five-year time frame. 
if you uh, if you are not resting, then you'll probably be optimizing uh, short term stuff. You're going to miss out on some long term stuff. So one of the ways we phrase that is that uh, rest is also work. Now, of course, if you're never doing any work, you're not going to get very far. But opportunistically and very uh, in a very disciplined way, making sure that you get the chance to take some time away from uh, what you're doing and come back to it fresh usually helps. And that's why we try and keep Sundays very quick. Let's move on to Hillary, please. Good morning, everyone. Um, Good morning. So, uh, Good morning. Uh, um, so as a team, we have progressed. We we have integrated most of the elements. So starting with, for me, I was working on Kafka and Airflow and also the, the database uh, because uh, it needed some integration. Uh, so the, the others were the members, one was working on the front end and then the other one was working on work testing and then one was working on the back end. So the back end was, uh, back end was, we have written endpoints for those and it's working. And uh, for back testing, we've added some strat different strategies for, and we keep adding them. Today, we are expecting to add uh, LSTM uh, strategy, a strategy using LSTM. And um, uh, communication, communication as the, uh, in the group has improved. So um, one of our members were, uh, wasn't communicating a lot, but I, okay, uh, compared to, so we, Compared to the other week, the other group, the last group, we we are still the same members, but a few dropped out. And uh, for the same members, they improved on communication, communicated frequently, and had uh, you know um, commenting on their progress and their blockers. So we could be able to fix them uh, since they were communicating uh, on their issues. And uh, on the weekend, uh, Saturday, Saturday, I was managing some of the uh the tasks uh arranging more uh on the scrum 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 planning i was writing more you know reducing the tasks and also taking out the one that we that we've done and sunday i we rested so we just say we didn't we we, we don't need to work that day and we'll continue today Excellent. so okay. today we are expecting Excellent. to work on the okay. front end no, sorry, I interrupted you. There was a bit of a delay. Go ahead. Sorry, to go ahead. Uh, no, um, I said today uh, uh, we are planning to work on the front end. Uh, yeah, to. Excellent. Okay. Um, who wants to go next? Which other groups haven't been represented? So we've had um, Abu Bakr's group, we've had Hillary's group. Can we get, uh, I'm going to bring up the group listing. We've had, can we have one of Abdul Rahman, Jerusalem, Gedachu, Mr. Johannes? Yeah, Abdul Rahman, go ahead. Okay, uh, hello, good morning. Good morning. Uh, uh, our, uh, oh, last gold week, right. uh, <laughs> our, our last week was, uh, I can't say it's uh, the best, but uh, I think it's good. There is uh, some progress. Uh, we started uh, from things we already know, uh, or we have experience with it. So we started with the front end and back end, and uh, uh, a little bit of the Kafka. Uh, so this uh, this week we'll we'll focus more on uh, the back testing. Uh, for me, I will work on uh, LSTM model for today. So. This is for the side of work, for communication. Uh, we have a lot of meeting last week, so it's become more easy to understand each other and uh, work together. So I think that's awesome. OK. <clears throat> uh... So I I have to say it's not fully clear to me what you guys have actually gotten done. So you've given me a very uh, high level overview. You haven't said so much. So you said I think to quote you directly, we it's not the best, but we've made some progress. So what's what's the problem? What are you facing? How can we help you resolve that problem? And so others from the group, 
feel free to jump in because it seems to me like this group, we have a week, we want to make sure that uh, you're successful, but what's the issue? And others, feel free just to unmute and jump in. So we have Abdul Rahman, Jerusalem, Geta Chu, Mr. Johannes. I see Johannes has his hand up. But just, yeah, let's go to Johannes and then to Mr. What can we do to help? Yeah, okay, good morning, everyone. So I think we did most of the things. Uh, the we did the front end, back end, Kafka, and uh, back testing. Uh, since different people uh, do the component, each component, uh, we are planning to integrate each of it uh, today. I think we made a great progress, maybe. Yeah. Only the airflow, airflow is now working for us currently, but we are planning to start working on it tomorrow. And Abraman is tasked to do the training the Moody. Okay, so you're if I listen to you, you're a little bit more uh, optimistic and positive than Abdul Rahman. Your assessment is more positive. Yes, yes. Everything is done, as I said, with different people. Okay. So integrating those things is uh, yeah, okay. is the uh, so next you guys, you, I feel like you guys are on opposite ends of the spectrum here. Um, so let's, let's hear from Mr. and then I want to hear from Abdul Rahman. Okay, um, good morning, everyone. So uh, I am on the side of Johannes. So I think we have done most of the tasks. Uh, actually, we divided the tasks. So Johannes was responsible for the back testing in Kafka. Ayer Salim is working on them on the back end and I'm working on the front end so the only thing that's left uh, is to integrate the things also uh, yeah we are facing a blocker with airflow uh, so maybe Johannes and Gitatro were working on the airflow but they are having issues so after I finish uh, I'm trying to I'll be helping them on the airflow side also Abdurrahman will be working on them on training the model uh, I think we are progressing really good, and I'm very optimistic. Mm -hmm. So, Abdul yeah, Rahman, are, are, Abdul Rahman, are they, uh, as as one says, drinking the Kool Aid, or are you? Uh, what? Why? Why are you guys on different in different worlds? Okay, for me, I think uh, the project is uh, really big. So, I feel that feeling you you can't control everything or you feel like you miss something, so this would make me what make me not full optimistic. But uh, that's it. Okay. So there's a there's a transition that you guys will have to go through when you get into work at school. Um, you that it's somebody's job to specify the size of the project to make sure that it's doable to make sure that there's a nice complete whole solution. Um, as soon as you get to the world of work, you start to deal with imperfect systems, you deal with imperfect people, you deal with unknowns, and there's no longer a beautiful um, solution. And I've heard it described as the difference between calculus and statistics. So in calculus, you often get a nicely formed problem and a good solution. But in the world of statistics, you're dealing with probabilities and you may not have a perfect solution. So it is uncomfortable it is difficult it's almost like uh, i have teenagers at home and it's like the we also have a younger child so the younger child his world is very simple we can still make sure that the world is clear and comfortable for him if somebody punches him in the face at school we can say you know that kid is is wrong he shouldn't have punched you in the face when you get to the teenage year then you have these more difficult things where we as parents we can't necessarily say this is uh, exactly right or wrong, and we can't fix it. The same is true when you get to the world of work. So I would encourage you um, never, unless uh, you really need help, remember that the way you communicate uh, what you're doing is also to an extent the way people will perceive you and your work. So even if you're facing a challenge, I would like you to make sure that you are positive about the work that you've gotten done, and you can be realistic about the challenges. But try not to frame your discomfort as, um, I don't know what the word is, is it negativity or as worried as being worried? You should still 
uh, and especially in a remote work environment, you still have to represent fairly and optimistically the work that you've done, and you can still be fair and optimistic about the challenges that you face. Yeah. And I think that's a skill that you, each of you will have to learn. You, I can guarantee you within the first six months of work, you will be given a, a task which is simply not doable given the resources, given the time, um, given the amount of support that you face. And I think you'll have to accept that's just how it is and get as much done as you can, hand in what you can get done on time, explain what you did, what you tried, what you will do next and your expected schedule and uh, don't kill, don't beat yourself up over it. It doesn't mean if you are able to get 60% of a task done that uh, in a week that should have taken a month, that doesn't mean that you failed. It means actually you've done, you've still done a lot more than you should have been able to do. So, yeah. Um, okay, so we've covered Goldreich, we've covered uh, Victorson, we've covered Goldwasa. I want to hear from Valiant or Valiant, Downey, and uh, Aurora. Come on, guys. Let's let's get let's get moving. Let's get through our stand up. Yeah, Dereja. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning, yeah. Team Aurora. Yeah. Okay. So I'm Group Two, and. Uh, yeah, as uh, yeah, as my class for I'm working on back testing uh, tasks and almost completed. And uh, yeah, so as a general, most task uh, just completed uh, the back end, front end, and the Kafka. And uh, so, and also as a team, communication is dynamic, but uh, it should be more enhanced and. Uh, so when you come to my my weekend on ta no, on Saturday, wait, wait. I have I have a no no I have a question for you there. So okay. you said something you contradicted yourself. You say it's uh, dynamic, but it should be better. So what, yeah. what are you what are you actually saying? Uh, miss this sometimes, uh, but the communication is good. But uh, for example, when we just post some some question on a uh, group, so it is maybe the response is late. So that's why. And why, why is that? What's the issue? Uh, the issue is maybe just taking some risks. Uh, yeah. So maybe some, just some, some person just while taking a uh, risk. So when we, for example, when I ask uh, some question on group, so just due to that, I uh, get some late response. But this is just happening at the end of uh, just on on Saturday only. So that's why I'm saying. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. What's your plan to fix that? Yes. What is your plan to fix that? Okay. Okay. So yeah, just we we already communicated. So that's. Uh, that shouldn't be happen and and on this on this weekend yeah but so here's a question for you was it clear to everyone in the group that it was expected that you would be available on saturday yeah so yeah yeah all all i think all person all uh, all members just available on saturday but late uh, after 3 p.m so in my time so some maybe some person just take rest because of uh, they are working whole day. Uh, I think that's why. So three p.m. is nine p.m. So three p.m. Ethiopian time. Yeah. So, so you, so are you saying that after nine p.m. on a Saturday, people weren't available? And so then I think my question to you is, is your expectation reasonable, or was it communicated clearly um, to the rest of the group? It sounds to me like it's. I think being finishing at 9 p.m. on a Saturday is OK. Yeah, yes. So I think it's, I, it sounds to me like it's, I, I don't have all the information, but it sounds to me like it's rather a question of aligning expectations as opposed to 
I mean, I think it's okay. If 9 p.m. on a Saturday, you go and do something else. I think that's good. Yeah, but just uh, maybe, maybe if I am not clear, but just um, I'm stay I'm stay at uh, till to eleven, right? Till to eleven, okay. So then, uh, just I want to just ask some question, but it is they are just taking risks, so that's why I'm. So my my solution to you is that <clears throat> aligning expectations of what you as a group are expecting of each other would be one one thing that I would suggest you do. Have a very open discussion and you guys should agree, what are your working hours? When, does, when are we expected to be able to respond right away? When do we expect, you know, if you're in the bathroom, it's fine, but otherwise we expect that everyone's on, on, online and working. Uh, you should have that discussion. I mean, I can't answer that question for you, but I've been suggesting to you that you and your group, you have that discussion. Yes. Okay, and Sunday, tell me something about your weekend. Um, on Sunday, so just uh, I sleep till to uh, 6 p.m. And after that, I spent with my, my sisters after that. So 6 p.m., I admire, I admire you. That's, uh, that's impressive. Okay, let's go to Valiant. Uh, so we have Bethlehem, Jabez, Niamusi, or Tewodros. Let's get the group to present back, please. Yeah, Chavez, go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so last week, uh, I think we were able to uh, accomplish more of the tasks, uh, but uh, we need more integration for this week because we need to more integrate our uh, work so that it could be uh, presentable. Uh, so we are already discussing that. Uh, we had a previous conversation and we will continue to do that uh, uh, and prepare ourselves for the presentation. So that's it. And I think also we, uh, when we compare it, uh, this project from the others, it, I think there is improvement, especially on the uh, team communication. We are bit better communicating on Slack and also we have a Google Meet, so uh, and also dividing the task also also was uh, good for this project because we divided the task early so that uh, we could all work on our uh, respective tasks. So it was good. We just need now to integrate it and uh, make it more presentable. Okay, and the weekend? What did you do on Sunday? Okay, on Sunday I. I had to attend a, a wedding, so I was there uh, on the afternoon, uh, you, on the morning. Did you dance? Uh, sorry? Did you dance? <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. And did you get a good piece of raw meat? Uh, actually, it was not uh, so much. There was no food. Uh, we just attended uh, the really small ceremony. OK. Yeah. OK. Sounds good. Let's wrap up with Team Downey, Daisy, Grace, Joseph, Malaku, Henoch. Yeah, Henoch, go ahead. I'm not able to hear you if you're speaking. Hanok, go ahead. Or can somebody, can anyone else hear Hanok? Is it just me? No. Okay, Hanok, I don't know if you can, so Abu Bakr can hear him. That's strange. Can you hear me? Yeah, now I can hear you. Okay, so we like that. Uh, okay. So we've uh, been working on the tasks assigned to us last week. We have uh, divided the tasks among ourselves. Uh, the team dynamic is good. We've been uh, having regular meetings. So uh, I personally, I've been working on the backtesting. Uh, we decided to use uh, Backtrader 
we downloaded some uh, crypto data from uh, Yahoo Finance, and uh, we decided to use the MACD and the RSI indicators to do the bug testing. Uh, one of our team members, Joseph, uh, regularly trades in crypto, so he's been uh, very helpful in providing uh, insight into uh, the industry. And uh, this week, we're planning to uh, integrate our works, I think. Any major blockers? Uh, no, no major blockers. OK, maybe we should ask Joseph to give us a tip on which uh, when to buy Dogecoin. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Sunday, how was your weekend? Uh, Sunday has been uh, good. Uh, I tried cooking some food. Uh, which is out what? of character for me. Uh, what did you make? I made a cake. You made a cake? What kind I made of cake? A, cake. Uh, a sponge cake. Well, how did it? That's very difficult. I mean, out of all the cakes, you went, yeah. you went uh, <laughs> from zero to 100. Yeah, I, I think it turned out with like maybe uh, 90. 90 what? 90 out of 100, like nine okay. out of 10. Oh. <laughs> Are you grading yourself? Yeah. When you said 0 to 100, I thought you meant uh, the grading, but now I understand what you meant. No, I said you went from 0 to 100. So you get you kicked on your first a attempt a score 90 kick. That's yeah. <laughs> Who ate the kick? Everyone, everyone. Everyone in my family. They enjoyed it. And they survived. Yeah. <laughs> they did. Okay. Um, that sounds. Uh, that sounds good. I'm surprised to go to a sponge cake because my I have people in the family who also cook, but sponge cake is still too difficult. Okay, so it sounds uh, so. I have a, I have a question for the group and for anyone here. We have a week left uh, in this challenge. Are there any groups who are really facing struggles or challenges and want uh, us, one of the team members, to intervene? So you don't need to put your hand up now. But I would ask that you DM uh, Rodas and me so that uh, if there are, even if it's something that you feel could be improved, but sometimes having an external uh, group can help, then don't hesitate to uh, reach out. Um, we can probably help. So if you feel like your group is missing something or somebody is MIA, missing an action, or some thing is just not working, or for whatever reason, not gelling, don't hesitate to let us know. So that's one. Um, we will loop back on Slack on this uh, question that was raised on what's a more efficient way to spin the instances back up uh, after they've gone inactive. Them going inactive is by design uh, to save costs. But there is the question of, uh, is there a more efficient way than just writing to some, one person and saying, hey, if, are, you, are you up? And uh, we will be updating the schedule. It's not updated yet, but it'll be updated for the week. Um, and there are tutorials. It's kind of the regular schedule for the week. Uh, in terms of other announcements, um, uh, so I see a question from Abba Becker. Uh, is there a way we can better communicate the stand-ups from your experience or perspective? So I, I think it's good. I mean, I will, well, every time I run a stand-up, I will keep giving you feedback. But I think the the general, um, yeah, so for tomorrow, let's, uh, I think that's a good idea. You guys can prepare and nominate one person per group. Um, if we want to be even more organized, we can just write it in the Slack channel just before the stand-up, who's going to be presenting, or you simply just, that person is prepared and puts their hand up. I think you guys can organize it like that. Um, I think the stand-up communication, it's really, it's it's supposed to be an opportunity to kind of just before the day starts let's imagine we're not in a remote work environment but um i i like the cooking analogies i like the kitchen analogies because it helps me to understand because uh, it's a very simple one so if you are going just before uh, you start a very busy time lunch or dinner at the restaurant that you're working in the stand-up is really the opportunity just to meet and to share any relevant information. And the relevant information could be, look, the tomatoes have come in today. They, they're looking really good. So I'm going to be making the salads a little bit bigger and a little bit juicier, just so you're aware. And by the way, um, you know, so person ABC is sick. 
So that's going to be a blocker for us. So just be aware of that. It's an opportunity to share relevant information um, and present it in a very, ideally, in a very clear way um, without, you know, it should be optimistic without being unrealistic. Um, and if it's done well, and it's, it's not a science per se, it is to do it really well is more of an art, just like all communications. Um, I think finding that right balance between um, realistic or being nervous and uh, being clear and being optimistic, there's some art and there's also some uh, just to people's different personality. I believe that um, I believe that what I hear from the group is actually it's very good. Um, I think if I was in terms of in a work environment, I would say what I've heard today definitely is meeting the standard. So take my comments as an opportunity to improve. Um, but I think what I'm hearing today is definitely meeting standards. Um, I would, it would be great to get people down that they can communicate. Ideally, you should be able to communicate everything you need to say about the group in 30 seconds or less. And I think with a little bit of preparation, when it's me, if I'm in a new group, I always write my points down and just have them there so I make sure I cover them. Joseph or Yosef? Uh, yes, hello, hello, Arun. Um, could you tell me repeat uh, your last statement? Uh, I said a lot. Uh, what do you, which, which last statement? Uh, concerning uh, next week and the opportunity to present. I didn't get the uh, details. For about next week? Yes. I was saying about the groups, you mean? Yes. Uh, I was saying if any of the groups are having an issue where the group is not necessarily gelling or not able to operate together in an efficient way, then I would ask that you uh, send a message. You can DM Rodas and me together. There's a Slack has a, you can DM two people. It's kind of like making a group and reach out to us. Or you can also ask in the general group. But if you're not comfortable, you can reach out to us. If not asking, if you're not comfortable asking in the general group, DM us and we can get involved to help the group um, operate a little bit more efficiently. And it's usually just one or two small things which are enough to bring the group back in line. OK, OK. And uh, for the presentation that you're talking about, these are the group presentations that are available to Just for tomorrow's stand-up. So as we're working in groups, I think delegating one person to speak on tomorrow's stand-up so it's clear who's going to present, so it's not the, uh, the usual suspects, is uh, I think would be a good idea. Thank you. Yeah. Um, there's a question from Geta True about the instance, if the instance is up right now, um, and it's not working for me since yesterday. So Geta True, we will come back to you on Slack and answer that question. Uh, is a stand-up for teammates, a stand-up here different? I guess it's different way it can be approached. If it was instances are working now, Abu Bakr says, if it was me, Abu Bakr, I would say that if you're doing a stand-up to represent your team, it's a bit more work because you have to make sure that you know what everyone is doing. So it probably takes sort of an internal team stand-up before you go and present uh, your team to the larger group. But I think otherwise, it's the same thing. You have That person has to represent uh, the entire group. But otherwise, the actual format and the, the type of content uh, is not necessarily different. It just takes a little bit more work. Yeah, any other questions before we wrap up? No? All right. OK, guys, have a wonderful uh, week 10. We have uh, three weeks until you guys get a break. I hope